Did you know that the most crucial factor in losing weight and keeping it off is something called blood glucose spikes? Why? How? Let's get us started with this question. What is this blood glucose spikes anyway? Our blood naturally contains a certain level of sugar, typically ranging from 70 to 100 milligrams per deciliter. When blood sugar rises, it leads to the blood plasma becoming sticky. So the body is in this state of distress because cells struggle to receive water and nutrients from the blood. It's not that complicated. Some certain foods trigger these abrupt rises in blood sugar that we need to learn what they are. Most of these foods are simple carbohydrates, like white bread and sugar. As soon as you eat white bread or sugar or simple carbohydrates that we will discuss later in details, they rapidly break down, transforming into glucose that enters the bloodstream causing blood glucose spikes. Now let's paint a picture here. Imagine your body is a calm, peaceful city. All of a sudden, a bomb is dropped in the middle of it. Blood glucose spikes explode and insulin hormone is secreted. Now here is another question. What does insulin do? Its primary role is to signal to all cells that the body is in the critical state of emergency, even death. So this insulin hormone starts signaling to cells, hey cells, your main task is to absorb glucose in order to reduce blood sugar levels. So as long as blood insulin remains elevated, cells primarily focus on absorbing glucose and storing it as fat. I want to be honest with you. Let's cut to the chase. Hit the gym, hop on the treadmill, go for a run. Mm -mm. As long as your blood insulin is high, cells won't burn fat properly. I'm sorry. That's why you cannot lose weight. So the key to weight control is to keep your insulin, blood insulin low by preventing glucose spikes. One more interesting thing about insulin hormone. When it is high, you feel hungry. I'm sure that you have experienced this. When you eat something sweet in the morning, for example, as breakfast, you're hungry the whole day and your hunger intensity increases. So Paria, how can I control insulin? If you want to control insulin, avoid simple carbohydrates, white bread, sugars. I'll explain in detail later in other videos. Ice cream, uh -uh, sweet chocolate. Fruit juice, wait here. I know, I know that it's fructose, which is natural, natural sugar, that's true. But as soon as it enters your body, it goes into your liver and it turns into glucose and it causes glucose spikes in your blood. So the same process happens. We, are, we want to control insulin, right? We should replace simple carbohydrates with protein and fat, like eggs, meat, fish, or fruits like coconut, avocado, uh, olive, almond, that I will tell you later for sure in details. 